uh, just regarding depth of field, um, if I select the camera or hit this camera attribute editor and then scroll down, um, I'll find uh, depth of field here. And if I turn it on, you should see the depth of field. Uh, the first thing to adjust is the focus distance. So if I select like his face, let's turn that off. Okay. And then I go display, heads up display, and is it focal length? Oh no, that's just the camera focal length. What's the, um, is there like a heads up display thing that shows distance to the selected object? Object detail? Distance from camera, there it is. Object details, distance from camera. So, oh, that's pretty close actually. So, um, so back to the camera attribute editor. So we had 7.66, oh, sorry. Camera attribute editor. Let's select the camera first. There we go. All right, and focus distance 7.66. So it's an average for the whole head since obviously part of the head's closer and parts further. Um, but maybe you want to, uh, you know, I'd play with the f-stop or increase the focus region scale. So um, lowering the f-stop should increase the effect. Oh, you can see it at these lower numbers. And raising it should decrease the effect. And then this is just another way to adjust the, you know, I can increase the, the focus region scale, you know, independent, like this kind of, those two numbers sort of work together. Um, Anyway, so the foreground's a little more in focus than the background, and so what you could do is then say, um, okay, well, I want to uh, uh, right mouse click, set a keyframe on the focus distance here, and then maybe I want the background, something in the background to come into focus. Let's say one of these boxes, can I select one of those? No. Set this box is 60, let's call it 67. Um, so I will set that to six, whoops, 67, and now that's out of focus, and he, I'm sorry, that's in focus, and he's out of focus, and so you can see it gradually changing um, from one to the other. So that's how you can animate the depth of field.